With six confirmed cases in Kerala, Kerala continues to be haunted by the Nipah virus. The state health department is on its toes, continuously testing, tracing and isolating people. Now, from the perspective of your GS means papers, as well as from the perspective of your preliminary examination, we have to understand why this Kerala sees and registers repeated outbreaks. From the perspective of your examination, as well as general knowledge, it is important for you to pay close attention to whatever I am saying here. Do not worry about making notes because I provide the notes through the form of the PDF that I am using and that is available on my telegram channel Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, you can also talk to me on my Instagram and follow me on threads. Now, in the Kodi Code district of Kerala, six cases have been confirmed. Continuously, the state department is contact tracing, isolating people. There are nine contamination zones that have already been formulated. Volunteers are working day and night to ensure that nobody leaves their quarantine facilities. So what is the Nipah virus? First of all, we will know that. Also, understand that it is very serious because the fatality ratio is very high. It's ranging from 40 to 70 percent. Right now, we do not have any sort of vaccines for it as well. Now, Nipah is a zoonotic disease. That means it can get transferred from the animals to people. That means it can jump species. It is from the family Paramyxoviridae. The genus is Henipa virus. The animal who hosts this virus is the flying fox or fruit bat, which is having the genus Tiropus. It is genetically related to Nipah virus is genetically related to Hendra virus. Hendra virus is also hosted by the fruit bat as in it is another form of Hennepa virus. Okay, so we have to understand it that fruit bats have a lot to do with such viruses. Nipah virus was for the first time ever discovered in 1998 in Malaysia, 1999 in Singapore. Over 300 cases were registered and 100 people who, who were actually in those 300, they died. Also, over 1 million pigs who were infected, who might have been infected, they were culled so that they could stop the transmission of this disease. Now, since then, we are witnessing that this virus has got a strong foothold in different countries, such as Bangladesh and even India. In West Bengal also, this case was registered. This virus was registered that was the Bangladesh strain. Do you know that there are different strains of this particular virus? Bangladesh strain is different, Malaysia strain is different and the one that is found in Kerala is also different. So that is why we have to fight each and every Nipah virus or Nipah virus differently. Let's move ahead. The Nipah virus is known to spread more slowly than SARS-CoV-2 but the problem is that the high fatality ratio Supposedly, it is 40 to 70 percent. That means out of 10 people who get infected, 4 to 7 die. And it is that problem. This is the actual problem that we are witnessing with Nipah virus. During the first outbreak in Bengal, Siliguri in 2001, 45 out of the actual cases, they died. And the fatality ratio for that is 68 percent. When we talk about the other outbreak which was in 2007 in Nadia, West Bengal, all the five people who were infected, they collapsed to this disease. When we talk about 2018 outbreak of Kerala, 17 of the 18 patients confirmed to have this particular virus, they died. So as you can see, the fatality ratio is much higher than SARS-CoV-2. Now, as I told you that this is the fourth infection or the fourth outbreak of infection that Kerala is. Witnessing. In 2019, one case was reported in the Arnakulam district. 2018 was the time when the state health department had no idea about it. For the first time ever, we saw PPE kits fitting our screens. That means we were not, you know, very well aware of what an infection could look like. And just after two years, we had the coronavirus. The next year, a 12-year-old boy died in Koikor due to the zoonotic disease. Kerala witnessed rapid urbanization and deforestation. This may be one of the contributing factors. Why? Because when we cut down trees, 
the species which are a reservoir of so many viruses they come closer in contact with human beings and when their case load becomes very high supposedly a fruit bat who might be very well living in their own ecosystem they are they are a good reservoir of so many viruses and when their habitat gets lost they do not have much to eat they do not have a healthy habitat around them so their infection became, becomes much pronounced profound and larger and then it starts to spill over in their urine and feces and saliva and when humans go in close contact with them then they can get contaminated so this is one of the reasons that kerala has seen high urbanization and deforestation at the same time the presence of the nipah virus in bats is found in 10 out of the 16 surveyed states and union territories that means there is a presence however we have to ensure that contamination doesn't occur now if we move on to the viral antibodies presence in different states and union territories when survey was done then the nipah viral antibodies in bats it was found in kerala tamil nadu karnataka goa maharashtra bihar west bengal assam meghalaya and puducherry that means here the bats are a good reservoir of the nipah virus while if we talk about telangana gujarat punjab himachal pradesh odisha and chandigarh the bats did not register any antibodies that means they were not infected by it kerala could be reporting nipah virus infections because of better surveillance as well many times it can happen that due to fever some people may think that this is just another viral infection however it could be a virus if they do not get diagnosed it will never be reported so kerala is doing a lot of surveillance as well lot of testing as well lot of contact tracing and isolation that may be the reason that more people are being caught under this kerala strain is very different from bangladesh but no comparative studies have been done although we know that bangladesh strain is more lethal than malaysia strain so the strains are also different when the strains are different we have to also make sure that we are dealing with them differently when we talk about the 2018 outbreak as i told you that the state health department was not in any sort of awareness about this particular virus so it followed the protocol of ebola virus disease but when it chose to do so most of the infections did take place and most of the people had also died but of course it was just a start ebola virus disease that means contact tracing was done quarantining was done uh, isolation was done so this was all one of part of the strategy not only the state health department but the revenue department also started working simultaneously root maps of confirmed cases were published in order to identify who could have contracted the disease a call center was launched in koi code only so that people who were in isolation they could get proper psychological support through different workers on their phone isolation wards were also developed in medical colleges and ad hoc committees were also formulated so a control room was also there in june 2019 the health department issued the guidelines so that nipa virus could be controlled in 2019 and a medical board treatment protocol use of monoclonal antibody protocol point of care testing was finalized many senior doctors also from across the country came under one roof in order to understand this virus even at a time who representatives were also involved in the protocol uh, promotion protection and mock drills were also held under their monty diagnosis surveillance treatment sample collection this all created one kind of a map for handling the nipah virus january 30 2020 kerala reported the country's first corona virus case in thrissur and we already had a protocol in hand now september 2021 a 12 year old boy died in kodi code due to the nipah virus see this was a time when the entire country was battling the second wave of corona virus so this was when in the midst of the corona virus nipah virus also occurred but this gave a given added advantage to the state health authorities why because isolation was already a one of the protocols in corona virus then quarantining contact tracing so an added advantage was given which had helped 
Kerala government and the state health department to just curb it in the uh, you can say it just curb it when it started but still a boy's life was lost and of course currently we are being managed the nepa virus is being managed by a protocol that was issued in 2021 that means as soon as it was reported to the state health department that a person has unusually high fever the state health department collected it and sent it to the national institute of virology in pune and by the time it got confirmed the operational guidelines were already working for controlling the nepa virus now as per the action plan of 2021 a nepa core committee has been formulated with 19 multidisciplinary teams a control room was opened that is a war room to control the disease at kodi kod medical college 75 isolation rooms were made ready with plans a b and c to meet any kind of situation respective local self government bodies that means the gram panchayats they are also very well involved here they are sending anganwadis ashas volunteers so that people do not leave their isolation and also they are seeing in which houses fevers are occurring fever is occurring then monoclonal antibodies is the only treatment we have for this right now this was also very well uh, you know used for the covid 19 an antibody is a protein in our immune system when we get infected then our body starts to produce this antibody antibodies help us to fight those infection monoclonal antibodies are a kind of treatment when antibodies they come from a foreign point of source not your own body so this will help your body to fight that infection this is targeted therapy this is the only one we have for nipa virus right now although it has not been a certified one but still it is helping people to survive so the icmr's mbsl3 this is also provided to kerala to fight infection this is a mobile laboratory that means if this is provided to kerala then it it may not need to send the samples time and again to the national institute of virology for sample testing it is the first bio safety level 3 containment mobile laboratory in south asia so remember that it was established in february 2022 it will significantly enhanced early testing and detection of infection as soon as the infection gets detected the sooner the infection gets detected the sooner the guidelines will come into operation okay so this has also been provided to kerala this is how kerala is fighting the entire issue of outbreaks i hope you understood this topic well you can write a mains answer as well with the help of this so p2i batches we have already launched it from 11th of september those of you who have not taken admission as of yet please please do so so that we can send you the study material the classes are of morning that means 8 am onwards another batch is also there that is the p2i batch long term batch this is starting from tomorrow and that's an evening batch that is for 2025 and use the code pd live to get a high discount on any of the batches that you opt for thank you so much for watching